You want road course racing? You got it. And Watkins Glen, New York is where it's at. On the here, right at stop number 22 on the Castle Cheetah Cup Series, brings us to Watkins Glen for the running of the Hell of a Good Sour Cream Dips at the Glen. On the on the pole for the race, it's Lisa Shears in the 25, and alongside Trent Dunham in the 24. Row two has Michael Dawson in the 52 car, and Jeremy Doobie in the 26. Row three has. Alexander Dawson in the 42 car, and the 5 of Colin Cropley, who's been on a slump lately in this race season, I should say. Row 4 has Ryan Acosta and Dougie Shears. Row 5, Justin Acosta and Aaron Williams. Row 6, Rachel Williams and Russ Batson. Pace car will take him through the 11th turn here at Watkins Glen. It's an 11 turn course, much like we saw at Infineon Raceway. We had a we had a wacky road course. We had a great finish on and a road course at Infineon, and now let's see what we can do. We we'll get the same thing at Watkins Glen as the green flag waves. Let's go road racing! Lisa Shears gets through the first turn as the leader here. 30S is this turns two, turn three right there, and then here comes turn four. And now 30 inner loop. It's turns five, six, seven, and that's turn eight. And out through a sweeping turn nine. And down the long so straightaway connecting turns nine and ten. Michael Dawson stalking Lisa Shears. They go into the tenth turn now. They break very hard for that turn. Now into turn eleven. And that's how a lap at Watkins Glen is completed. Nine laps around this racetrack here at the Glen. And around this 2.454 mile road course as Michael Dawson's keeping the pressure on Lisa Shears. Lisa was the, well, the under yellow. Looked like Adrian Becker, I believe, in the two car may have spun. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what you get for belching on the air, but... Uh. Holy smoke. I don't mean Tony Stewart neither. I mean look at this. This how happened in the This all happened in the inner loop, apparently. Watch this where they're at Well you can't do that. Chris Martin shoves Dalton Day and then Dalton goes across the track, hits Mike Doobie and then hits him in the Adrian Becker. Seth Cole down on the grass in the 75 car. Boy, Dalton Day, he got the worst end of this deal, obviously. Let's look for the... Let's look for the far chase. Let's look for the far chase of... of Dalton Day's car. He's on the inside of Christopher Martin in the 31. And watch Chris. He's going to... He jumps to curbing. Shoves Dalton Day right into the grass. Through the kitty litter, Dalton goes. Chris misses the tire barrier, but Dalton doesn't. He comes back across the track. Hits Mike Doobie. And I'd say Dalton Day is not going to give Christopher Martin a Christmas card after this. Uh, this is just about how Dalton Day's season has been. No kidding. Let's ride on board with Dalton Day on this one. He is, this is, just got himself in an awkward situation right here. On board to 17.
that's gonna no doubt Dal knock Dalton Day out of the race. Um, she's just a rough day for Dalton Day, a rough year, I should say, for Dalton Day so far. His season just not going the way he hopes. Obviously, not going the way it's he planned. As the pace car leads the field through the yellow flags, and I think we're gonna get the green flag this time by. On lap number four, and the pace car will lead them back down and down on air. Pace car conducts off on the pit road, and the hell of a good sour cream dips of the Glen will be back underway with Lisa Shears leading the leading the way. And here we go again. Trent Dunham goes on the inside of Michael da of Alexander Dawson and then takes the spot away. That's third spot. Trent takes away from Alexander. Dawson just goes up the track though. He's losing spots like crazy as we watch Colin Cropley runs in sixth position right now. Hoping to break his bad finish jinx. He's had the last couple three races. And that whole that whole thing's dropped him out of the top ten of the points. He hopes to get back in the top ten of the points and at least have a shot at maybe picking up some more points to get himself in points contention. Jeremy Doobie right now having a good run, running in fifth position right now. Actually he's at the fourth actually right now. Cropley up the fifth. So, because they all got by Alexander Dawson, he had a bad start that time. That's why Trent Dunham got it on the inside of him in, for third position. And Dave Doobie is fourth, Cropley is fifth. Michael Dawson is still all over Lisa Shears. Shears, by the way, as I was about to say before the yellow came out. Was the is of course the seventh different female to ever win the series when she took home the season four Aaron's 499 at Talladega and Lisa hopes to become the first female to ever win on the road course here in the Casual GTX Cup Series. The Kodiak. The Kodiak Exxon Superflow Chevrolet. Running very, very strong here. Right now, as this time by, I'll be down to four laps to go here at Watkins Glen. Michael Dawson trying to find anything for Lisa Shears as they come out of 11 turn. Dawson jumps the curb. Here comes Trent Dunham in the 24. And Trent makes a move to the inside. Him and Dawson gets in there alongside. Jeremy Doobie tries to help Trent back by Michael. Michael lets off. He goes up on the high side. Jeremy Doobie tries to go by him. Indeed he does. And now Colin Cropley is going to follow Jeremy Doobie. And it's going to move Doobie up to third and Cropley maybe up to fourth. And Alexander Dawson is going to follow that train too in that 42 machine. As they come out of turn 9, Doobie's going to clear Dawson. So does, well, Cropley hasn't been able to clear him yet. Alexander Dawson is going to push Cropley by him. Or not. <laughs> Michael Dawson uh, hanging tough right there on the outside of Colin's car. And... Dawson again jumps the curbing Michael Dawson, that is, and now Alexander dives inside of Michael Dawson. Ryan Acosta in the four car watching all this from his perspective. Now Alexander Dawson will take the fifth spot away from from Michael Dawson. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Lisa Shear still leads the race here as 
the sister of Super Shears, Dougie Shears that is, tries to hold off the challenge of Trent Dunham in the 24 card. Trent trying to get back into points contention, obviously, and he's actually already is back in points contention in some ways. He's in the top 15 in the points right now. As they come down through the third, as they come down through the 11th turn right now, and Lisa Shears will have two laps to go to try to hold everybody off. And Trent Dunham closing right in. We'll see what happens here. I'd say Trent may be about on Lisa's bumper when they go through the when they go through here, maybe the next time by, which will be the white flag. Down to the end loop they go. Trent Dunham's right there. He's there. What a final lap shootout this ought to be. Here's it going down to the ninth turn now. Dunham's still keeping a bit of distance between himself and Jeremy Dibby in the third position now. Meantime, Lisa Shears will see the white flag this time. Milo have one lap to go in a hell of a good soccer in of the Glen. And Lisa Shears will come down. The white flag waves. Can Trent, does Trent Dunham have anything for Lisa? Let's see what happens in turn number one. That's where he's been getting his run here. He's right there. <coughs> Trent Dunham is there in that 24 car. See what, see what kind of time he, see how much time they'll be able to make up on her in turn in the S's. The back stretch down the stretch they come into the inner loop. Dunham pulling up on that back bumper of Lisa Shears now as they go down to the ninth turn now. Now see what we'll see what happens in turns 10 and 11 though. That's the only two turns that are left to go. Shears still holding her distance as they go down to the tenth turn as she breaks hard for that turn. And now in the turn number 11, Dunham's got one more shot at Shears as they go down to his 11th turn. But it's not going to be enough. For the first time in the Castle GTX Cup Series, a female has won in a road course. Lisa Shears wins the hell of a good soccer in dips of the Glen. Trent Dunham did everything he could. Just could not pull up on Lisa Shears' back bumper to have a shot at winning this race. Jeremy Dibby ends up third in this race. Good run for him. Colin Cropley, a much needed fourth place run. He's done good on the road courses this season. Alexander Dawson, fifth, a good much needed run for him too. Michael Dawson, sixth. Then comes Dougie Shears, Brian Acosta, Justin Acosta, and Aaron Williams, the top 10 in this race. The average speed of the race, 84.950 miles per hour. Lisa Shears wins the race today. Trent Dunham second. Jeremy Doobie third. Colin Cropley fourth. Fifth goes to Alexander Dawson. Michael Dawson finishes fifth. Dougie Shears sixth, or seventh, I should say. Michael Dawson was sixth. Ryan Acosta seventh. Justin Acosta eighth. And Aaron Wayne, or J Ryan Acosta eighth. <coughs> Justin Acosta finishes in ninth. And Aaron Williams tenth. Ryan Cooper, Ray Castor. Rachel Williams, Ray, Russ Batson, and Jasmine Acosta, the top 15. Then Alexandra Jones, Dylan Pote, Ann Batson, Mike Becker, and Charles Jackson, the top 20 in this race. And not a good run there for Keith Batson, Ann's husband, 27th. John Acosta, and 28th. And Dalton Day with that crash, 30th, 6th. What? Dalton Day is about, I'm, like I said before, I think he's about to say screw it with this season. Nothing's going right for Dalton. <clears throat> and Zed Weinstein loses more points. He's 20, He finishes 29th in that race. And I think the leader of the points was Ray Castor. And he got a he got a 12th place run. So, But a big win for Lisa Shears in the 25 Kodiak car. car. As she pulls off the win. Dougie Shears' his sister. So now both the Shears have won this season. Justin Acosta was the points there, I should say, not Ray Castor. Justin Acosta 
has the points. They have an 80 over said Weinstein, Ray Caster, third. Dougie Shears, fourth. Jeremy Doobie, fifth. Six is Sasha Dawson, seven Don Poti, eighth Connor Breton, ninth Alexandra Jones, and Colin Cropley is tenth in the points right now. Trent Dunham, eleventh, then Mike Duby, Jack Richards, Alexander Dawson, and Michael and Russ Batson, the top fifteen, all the way down to Ryan Cooper in twentieth position right now in the points. And rest of the runners right now in the points chase. Next race on the tour will be at Michigan Speedway for the running of the Carfax 400.